Good morning, it's 8.30 a.m. I woke up at seven, but then I just laid in bed for quite a while because I was too cold to get up. There is the school Alberta back in the town square. A lot of construction happening in this village, I've noticed. People next to the albergue were pounding their hammers at 7.30 a.m. It's very chilly, so I'm gonna have a hot coffee here before I leave. I was chit-chatting it up in the bar, so <laughs> it's 9.45, and I'm on this kind of dirt road thing to the next town. And under the highway, I made a mistake and walked this way for a while, and then turned around once I realized my mistake because this bush <laughs> was covering up the sign, so I missed I missed the marker. So you actually go straight beside the highway bridge, and uh, just look out for the Spider Man. Ooh, and a Hulk too. Molino Los Arcos Aqueduct. Much prettier away from the dusty road. This rocky outcrop has Alba arranged in looks like big white stone. I am under the bridge and very confused. Um, there's a path there. That has an X, but I don't know. I see something yellow up there. I guessed right. I am on track. I stopped to chat with a older gentleman back there. Uh, I guess his farm's just over here and he's working. And he was very concerned. He thought this this path here was dangerous. I, I reassured him that everything was okay and I was heading to Alba, but they must not see many Camino walkers because he was quite shocked um, when, when he saw me come around the corner. Here we go, back into a paved area. Alpujuera. Signs, signs everywhere there's a sign. This is a Roman mausoleum. Mausoleum is locked up tight. There are some info signs. Talking about the restoration, as well as a bit of description. It's actually unnecessary to enter Alba, but I'm following the um, albergue signs to get to the center of the city because I would like to see it. Alba has been occupied since the Copper Age and has a rich archaeological history. I just had my first English conversation with a local. Uh, the man stopped me and um, he was a pilgrim and he had in his pocket a photo of him in Finisterre. So he, I guess he carries close to his heart the photo of him at mile number, kilometer number 0, 0.00. I've taken the walk to see the albergue and there's a photo exhibit happening all around the building. Wow, my first sight of the Sierra Nevada mountains. There is a little bit of snow up there. It's gonna be all white within the week. I had the passcode for the key, so I thought I'd come in and get my credential stamped. So I'll show you around since I'm in the space. There's two dorm areas. First one is here. The second one is right across the hall. Set up exactly the same. There's one bathroom, and within the bathroom is the shower. So that might be a little tight, uh, when people, if there's a lot of pilgrims and people are showering. There is a sunny patio to dry out your clothes. And the main seating area has a comfy couch. There's a, a locked room for the hospitaliero. That's neat. It'd be fun to be a hospitaliero here. Um, kitchen area. Uh, here, that was the dining area. This is the kitchen area. There is a washer dryer that you can pay for with some Euro coins and microwave and dishes. And then this is my favorite feature, this balcony. Where you can enjoy the mountains. Actually, better mountains are over here. Enjoy the mountains. When you put the key back, you always zero, zero, zero it. Really pretty. Hopped into Cafe Bar La Plaza for a quick cafe con leche. Grocery shopping inside the little grocery store. Oh, trio! Now a tunnel under the highway. Little fire over there. And um, it's a nice cool day, which I'm happy about because if you look at these 
these uh, wind turbines. They aren't turning at all. Zero wind. I'm walking on the Camino Real near Abrucinia. So this road was the main uh, transportation route linking Almeria and Granada. On this road, there's all sorts of people traveling, like merchants and soldiers. And so a number of um, single road hamlets popped up uh, along its course to offer services like food and lodging. Since the main highway was built, uh, there's not a lot of traffic. <laughs> Just some local. We have a big mountain view. What's this place? It looks like a old church. Let's have a little explore. This is definitely a chapel. I am getting a lot of really creepy vibes. Super creepy vibes. Interested in filming a horror movie? Well, this is a set location for you. Let's take a peek in the window. This place is huge. Saw something glittering in the sun. What is this? Oh, it's a watch. Oops. Okay. All right, guys. Once again, I've seen enough horror movies to know that you should not take objects like these with you. I'm going to put it back exactly where I found it. Because I don't need any ghosts coming after me. <laughs> okay, ghost, I'm putting your watch back. There's so many rooms here. Maybe this was um, a hotel or a hospital or because um, there's a chapel, some kind of religious housing. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go back there. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit freaked out. A little bit freaky here. It was really cool though to just see the front part um, and look inside the windows. I did not enter the structure because it looks like it's going to collapse at any second. Saw the sign over here, but there's no Camino marker and I checked my GPS, still continuing straight. That big hill is cool. Little did I know that this big hill is where I was heading. That's a very smart lamppost. I like it. Cafe Bar Castillo. Castle. I'm guessing uh, there's a hall in the main square and the church celebrating 500 years. The church is open. How wonderful. An altar. Town, and I just had a very strange experience. When I came out of the church, there was a whole gang of drunken men who were um, sitting at the bar in the plaza uh, waving at me earlier and I saw their table and it was just a mound of empty beer bottles and so the men came up and they all wanted photos with me so I'm like yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> hi hola it's another hour or so to the next town just popped up here to check out these cool rocks and uh, yes, it's uh, flat and easy walking. I've been carrying this road orange for a few days. I'm gonna break it out. Now the wind is carrying the pickup, which is fine because it's kind of hot. Yowza! No one's living here. How's had an aqueduct style built? This is Ventus Radnera and this chapel is interesting because it was um, built by a mousetrap maker who discovered a silver mine and became rich in 1860 and he's buried inside look at this stone marker i've crossed out of almeria province and into granada province yay <laughs> to celebrate i'm going to have my beer that i bought it's kind of explodey. I'm gonna have this beer that I bought earlier today. And um, I'm gonna give a shout out to my mom, my mom Louise. Thanks for the beer, mom. Brr, I gotta eat fast because the wind is picking up. Peanuts. 
get your peanut. Today is long flat walking, which really is like a, the mental game because my feet are tired from the flat surfaces. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I'm really happy to be on trail at the end of the day. Oh geez, look at all that white stuff on the mountain. Entering through a gate. One pot. More trail. More trail and 15 minutes or so until I reach the city. The Olivinas. Ol Ol Olivian. Oliva, Oliva. Olivas, Olivas. Ah. Crossing over the big highway on a bridge. Yes, this is my first bridge. No, I don't count it. <laughs> That's cute, a little monster. And I'm in the town. Made it before dark. Woo woo. Big church and dry river. Welcome to the Albergue that I'm staying at tonight. This is like an apartment. Uh, we have a couch sitting area. Kitchen with a hot plate, toaster, microwave, and fridge. There is one bathroom with one shower, two bedrooms. First room has four beds. It's a big space. And I'm gonna be staying in the smaller bedroom that has three beds because there are some space heaters here. So I'm gonna, it makes more sense to be in a smaller room to warm it up. And whoever was here last, they left the windows open and it is freezing. I don't want to go in search of an open bar. I'll just buy some food at the grocery store. This town does not have a place to eat. So I got a whole bunch of stuff from the grocery store and I am in no mood to cook. So it's going to be sandwiches. The spread was 10 euros. And because I saw that pink elephant earlier, I had to get some of these nuts, local nuts. This is my big sandwich with Lots of things and melted cheese. I finished my dinner and I'm gonna have a beer before bed. This is a shout out to Dan. Dan, thanks for the beer. Mm -hmm. 